was in it some were in office again were also mentioned so again people again they love some legitimacy in saying look these are the same same characters mm -hmm. who we've been dealing with over the years have they how have they changed so i would suggest that uh, they give it up we go to to we get a new uh, phase of commissioners we'll have a, a twist a year and a half to prepare for these uh, coming general elections and then we, we hit the battle senator that would be omar my hassan is that the solution maybe they ought to just hang their boots and uh, we give way to a new commission <laughs> now there's a, almost a meeting point dr willie busuga likes to say that popular ideas of yesterday one popular idea of popular ideas of today could be popular ideas of uh, and popular ideas of today could be popular ideas of tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. So and that's what has happened. I think I think EACC, not EACC, IBC, it has its credibility is fairly tainted. It cannot be an arbiter on such a delicate process like like, like an election. Mm -hmm. The court position has been disbanded, reorganized, disbanded, reorganized. I think we need, you know, first to, to give legitimacy to the elections. I know sometimes they're very upbeat that they're going to win the election. So if they want us to, to have confidence in that, uh, you know, that they are going to be free and fair, free and fair mm -hmm. can you know, you know, if, if, if you had a, a reorganized IBC and head into an election, and in the likely event they win, you know what? What, what that would be? That would be credibility to them. It will give legitimacy to their victory. So, it, it, in fact, it, it serves the jubilee agenda a lot more robustly. So, for me, I think Hassan is a brother because he even shares the name, uh, and many other are people of high standing who I know in one respect to another. Their family, their friends, their they, their mentors. It's high time now people to take a, make an exit and allow reorganization of that commission. Mm -hmm. I think you, there is too much distraction in terms of the overall agenda. One of the things I, 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 I do not take kindly in public office is to have a public office and constantly we are dealing with your problems. Mm. You know, Leo Siju Mekua alleged Mefanya Ivi, like um, unfortunately some of our governors. So we are constantly uh, dealing with your personal problems. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because and, and that, 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 that it brings this the reputation it brings of the this whole and discredit. Honorable uh, Kajuang, your take on that is that when will Kenya get to a point where we are politically mature to a point where if your name is dragged, Rather you, than think you're bigger than the nation or that commission, you just do the honorable thing and step aside. Uh, we are, I'm sure that we'll see that day. Uh, some of us are still young enough, and uh, I believe that day will come. Mm -hmm. On IBC, I must uh, say that there are some good people within that uh, commission. It is unfair to say that everyone at IBC is uh, a rotten egg. But collectively, you should not even be talking about Caesar's wife when referring to IBC. IBC reminds me of Brutus, he of a lean and mean expression mm. who ultimately uh, killed uh, Caesar. Because IBC has been a hatchet man for the executive uh, and, and in, in the last elections, and we expect that that is not going to change in the next elections. When we say that this time round we are not going to accept stolen elections, elections are not stolen only on the election day. Elections are stolen much, much earlier. They are stolen through procurement uh, issues, which have given uh, rise to things like chicken gate. They are stolen through voter registration when it is skewed or when it is done with inadequate uh, resources like it is being done currently. They are stolen through disenfranchisement of, of, of voters. By the way, uh, for your information as we speak, there could be two million Kenyans who have been disenfranchised because they were registered using the old generation ID in the last uh, 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 general election. And what the National Registration Bureau has done is to de-gazette all those two million old generation IDs. That means that uh, the NRB has effectively said that two million Kenyans are not Kenyans. Because if your ID is de-gazetted, then you really are not a Kenyan. And that means that two million people come out of the voters register. Today, we are struggling to put four million new Kenyans onto the voter register in this ongoing exercise. But NRB, by a stroke of one gazette notice, has removed two million Kenyans out of that register. So elections are stolen through such acts of omission or commission. Sometimes I tend to wonder whether the IBC is truly incompetent or that incompetence <coughs> is a facade to hide a lot of complicated uh, things in the background. We recently talked about uh, NYS uh, using BVR devices from uh, IBC. 
and it is a fact which was confirmed by the chairman of IBC when I was with him in a meeting alongside other code uh, principals. You start asking yourself, why would IBC give NYS BVR devices at this point in time, BVR devices whose backend software is similar to what, <coughs> what the IBC is using and thereby creating all this confusion where people who have enrolled in NYS programs are suddenly appearing in the voters register. I think we must get to a point where we say that the team that is currently running the IBC is tainted beyond redemption. The argument for their disbandment should not even be the technicalities of the runoff. It should be the realities of integrity. It should be the realities of incompetence. It should be the realities of things like chicken get, mm -hmm. which should then allow us to sit down and say, you know, this is not a referee that is uh, good enough to adjudicate uh, the next okay. election. Honorable Njagago, what do we need to do for that process to begin or what needs to be done? Because evidently it seems like you're in agreement, which is normally rare, but uh, it's a good thing, I guess, <laughs> in regards to IEBC. <laughs> so what needs to be done for that process Kenyans, to kick off? Kenyans can demand of it. Uh, we leadership can come to, to the meeting of our leadership, the court brigade and the jubilee, they can sit and agree that uh, since uh, all these uh, commissioners were actually appointed by both court and jubilee, I think Laila had his people there, his, his party nominated some of them, the Jubilee party nominated some. So they can agree and say, look, gentlemen, this IBC is not serving all of us as we wish. Let us uh, terminate their term, let, that, let us pay them, and then again, we, we, the, the parties again appoint others. All the Kenyans themselves, mm -hmm. Kenyans uh, by, by virtue of this constitution can demand that uh, let, let the IBC commissioners go. Oh, 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 do the, the usual flimsy things you guys do, <laughs> where you, somebody takes a petition final, to the president. That is not flimsy. That is not flimsy. That's the way you bundled out the I, that is the ESC. And that is how you have navigated. That is not flimsy. You know what you do. That is not flimsy. なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。